we have this slogan that says Pedro will take naked the leads, others follow if they can. Hello viewers, it's another beautiful episode of your favorite program, Polynekede Diary. I am your host, Chi Awolamoke. In this episode, we will be unveiling to you the various activities that led to the acquiring of a second campus in Abezi, Ebema, in Ohaji, Ebema local government area of Imo State, by our indefatigable rector, engineer Dr. Michael Chidebere Aremawa. After watching this episode, you will know that this is indeed a very unique landmark gift that he gave to the Federal Polytechnic Nekede Owere as his alma mater before bowing out as the eighth substantive and the first alumnus rector of this great citadel of learning. The Federal Polytechnic Nekede Owere was established in 1978 by the Imo State Edict number 16. It started as College of Technology Oweri with the motto Knowledge and Skill for Service. In 1980, the college moved to her present permanent site following her exceptional delivery in academic excellence. The federal government took over the ownership and management of the college and renamed it Federal Polytechnic Nekede Oweri in 1993. The Federal Polytechnic Nekede Oweri rose up to the task of creating an unbeatable standard in academic excellence, infrastructural development, and welfare of staff and students. Today, the institution is known as a Center for Excellence and Peace Setter. Following the consistent growth of academic programs and infrastructural development, resulting to increase in the numerical strength of students, the need for expansion in space became imminent. Our unassuming rector, engineer Dr. Michael Chidebere Aremawa, started the search for a solution. Uh, the Federal Polytechnic Nekede was established in 1978 as College of Technology. It has grown from that point to become the Polytechnic Nekede. And in 1993, it was taken over by the Federal Government of Nigeria and renamed to reflect the new status. Uh, when the institution started, it had only 250 students in a few academic departments, but it has grown over time, and today we have more than 15,000 students in about 60 academic programs. Uh, it is because of this growth and the fact that the environment, the campus is limited, and it became necessary for us to begin to look for a second campus. In the course, of preferring this solution, the searchlight beamed on a skill acquisition center situated at Abezi in Ebema, Ohaji Ebema local government area of Imo State, developed by the Ministry of Niger Delta Affairs. So I want to let us know that the very bright and intelligent worker, the digital smart worker, has been doing so much in his tenor to ensure that the technical method continue to increase and continue to be lifted beyond the level we met it. And the uh, innovation focused on that slogan that says Frederick will take make the list. Others feel it in the time. And on that note, we looked at the idea of getting a party, a second campus. We had the expansions we had to extend it to. So we looked at this idea to the management, and management bought these ideas. And then, so 
whom they're coming to. Whom they smiled at us. God still rules this great man, this powerful white dog, to acquire a place. Fox, I'm very sorry. Remember my little governmental where a few more states. The rector engaged the Ministry of Education through the Minister of State for Education, Right Honorable Goodluck Nana Opia, to process the acquisition of this facility under the then Minister of Niger Delta Affairs, who is now the President of the Senate, distinguished Senator Goswil Obot Akwabio. To this effect, on the second day of February 2023, a team comprising of members of management of the Federal Polytechnic Nekede, Oweri, led by the rector, engineer Dr. Michael Chidiabere Aremanwa, the permanent secretary of Ministry of Niger Delta Affairs, engineer Adebiyi Olusesan Olufunsho, and his team embarked on a thorough inspection of the facility to facilitate the process of the handover. The second campus acquired by Federal Polytechnic Nekebe where is a welcome development. The management of the institution has been working on acquisition of land for a second campus, but by the grace of God, the government of the Federation of Nigeria uh, graciously handed over a completed facility by the built by the Ministry of Niger Data Affairs for Skill Acquisition Program in Ohio Burma to the institution. So that solved the problem of the institution of looking for a virgin property for a second campus. The cost of the facility already established has taken away the burden of looking for funds because we, we are looking for funds to acquire land. We also need funds to develop the place or the facility by the special grace of God is already developed and it's a welcome development so we are happy about it and it's going to go a long way in improving the capacity of the institution to embark on uh, other programs and then increase the current capacity of the institution the various buildings in the facility inspected include administrative block technical blocks, conference hall, ICT block, cafeteria, hostel blocks, detached and semi-detached duplexes, 16 flats of two bedroom, semi-detached bungalows, clinic, warehouse and store, road networks, sports facilities, drainages, covered walkways, generator house, water reticulation and supply, electrical supply and landscaping. The Skills Acquisition Center at Edema. That Skills Acquisition Center is worth more than 20 billion naira because um, all the facilities are in place. It was built in, in 20, 2010 and has been recruited to us to act as our second campus. Having carried out a thorough assessment of the facility, the team terminated the exercise at the palace of the traditional ruler of the host community, the Ezani of Abezi community, Ebema. Hence, the 27th day of April 2023 recorded a mind-boggling landmark achievement by our indefatigable rector, engineer Dr. Michael Chidiebere Arimanwa as his dream of securing a second campus for the Federal Polytechnic Nekede Oweri became a reality. The Skill Acquisition Center was commissioned and handed over to the Federal Polytechnic Nekede Oweri by the then Minister of Niger Delta Affairs, Obong Umana Okon Umana as approved by the former head of state, President 
Muhammad Buhari. It basically is uh, an expansion of uh, what we have at the moment, um, where the increase in carrying capacity, the, the institution will basically uh, apply to enable to enhance our carrying capacity to admit more students, more and more new and existing departments to relocate to that place. The school also intends to introduce satisfied programs uh, that will be relevant to the oil industry that are uh, based in Ogona. There are programs that are akin to the oil industry like welding, fabrication, and all that. The administration will launch in that program to provide technical uh, personnel for the oil industry. So, in all, uh, we expect that the revenue generation capacity of the institution will be enhanced, will be well positively impacted, uh, students will be admitted um, in more numbers than what we have on the main campus, and then additional programs, statistical programs, will also be introduced. The process of the handover was done in conjunction with the Ministry of Education, represented by the then Minister of State for Education, Right Honorable Goodluck Nana Opia, the Imo State Governor, His Excellency Distinguished Senator Hope Uzodima, who was ably represented by the Deputy Governor, His Excellency Professor Placid Njoku, equally in attendance to witness the occasion where the traditional rulers of the host and neighboring communities, alongside the 14th Governing Council Chairman of the Federal Polytechnic Nekede Owere, Squadron Leader Chima I Chima, other members of Council, Management, Staff, Students, and the alumni of the institution, among others. Today, it is historic that the Federal Polytechnic Nekede Owere, located at Umodibia Nekede, Owere West local government area, has her second campus situated at Abezi Ebema in Ohaji Ebema local government area, all in Imo State, courtesy of the undaunted efforts of our eight substantive and first alumnus rector of the institution. Engineer Dr. Michael Chidiebere Arimawa. When the campus are invited up, we went for a tenant inspection, a day we are scheduled for official handover. And we will visit that place. The Federal Ministry of Education also was there. Then the Permanent Secretary, every personality that needs to be there to see to it that that particular facility was officially handed over to us, we were all there. And after all seven them, it was officially given to us. And I want to let you know that certificate for handed over, that handed over that facility to us is already with us. The then close went to his excellency, the MF Buhari, and the man that personally found the letter with which that facility was handed over to us. Can't you see the power of God there? Can't you see the hand of the Lord in that place? And with that, we are good to go. On the process of the smooth takeoff of activities, in the second campus, the rector and other management staff disclosed some of the expected structures and plans as regards to the managerial and academic processes and functions that will be established there. As a short interview, uh, the school will set up uh, a new uh, administration at the at, at that second campus where we will the Brazil unit are divided by each other's accountants. 
Don't worry about the uh, registry we need to be delivered by the two registrants. You know, by the other accountants. Uh, we will understand more about that to have detail in a place like the USA and the US. Okay. I run the campus at Tenubo and then run the main campus at Tensuka. So, it is not a problem at all. And then we also leave the technology to run the two places. First of all, I want to use this particular opportunity to appreciate and congratulate Director Engineer Dr. Michael Chilebra and FNSA JP and that very great achievement is quite a monumental one. As we all know, every academic institution must have a powerful library support base. The Obama campus definitely will have a very wonderful and functional library services with all its components and paraphernalia. The library information resources, the library building, functional facilities, and of course, very high powered manpower to render effective library services to support teaching, learning, and research. Thank you. We are happy about the second campus acquired at Edema. Original news property is built as a school acquisition center. So there are several facilities to ensure that skills, relevant skills are transferred to young people, especially students. And now in place we are going to arrange accommodation and organize accommodation for our students who will be there. There are two hostels. Presently, we are uh, properly furnished, one for male students and the other for female students. We are going to extend the administration of hostel to that campus. So we are going to designate a hostel officer who will report to the DR hostel matters here. The hostel officer will now have some host supervisors that will be in charge of the halls to ensure that the same standards we have here on the main campus are extended to the second campus. In terms of hostel, and look at location of uh, rooms and administration of the hostels itself. So the Southern Campus is a very important campus in the development of the Polytechnic. Um, beyond the students that will be coming in for MD programs, other students will be coming in for certificates programs, skills acquisition, because the MDT has introduced a program they call National Skills Qualification Framework. This NSQF. Um, does not really need to follow the pattern of national diplomas. So students or young people who are not qualified, so to speak, to come and do ND programs can go in there and acquire skills and get such certificates and the players of labor will recognize them and employ them. And you know that area is uh, an oil producing area. So the youths over there will have the opportunity of acquiring skills that are current in the employment market and eventually get employment and ensure that that area is peaceful for everybody. So we have a good plans for that campus. It will help put the further prepared market there in the main campus, so as the Loma campus where the second campus is located. Thank you very much. We want to thank in a very special way the then President and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, General Muhammad Buhari, who approved the transfer of that facility to us. We are also grateful to the then Minister of Niger Delta Affairs, who is today the President of Senate, distinguished Senator Godswell Ababio. I will thank the Permanent Secretary, the Minister of Niger Delta Affairs, and every other person who assisted in bringing that approval to the institution. The process of establishment of the biggest fish farm in Southeast South South Nigeria at Federal Polytechnic Nekede Owere began with a visit to Lofty Farms Lume Togo, which is described as the biggest producer of tilapia fish in West Africa by some members of management led by engineer Dr. Michael Chidiebere Arimanwa. 
This laudable step resulted to signing of a memorandum of understanding between the Federal Polytechnic Nekede Oweri and Lofty Farms Lome Togo on tuition-free training of five students and five staffers annually for five years, insect meal propagation, technical training on tilapia aquaculture, fish feed production. To this effect, a state-of-the-art fish farm facility was established in the institution. The managing director of Lofty Farms Limited, Mr. Peters, visited the institution and inspected the constructed fish farm facility. It is worthy of note that today the fish farm has officially taken off with parent brood stocks from Vietnam. Director, engineer Dr. Michael Chidebere Arimawa visited the farm alongside his management team to inspect the progress of the farm. It is believed that the facility will serve as an internally generated revenue, excursion and job creation center. Indeed, the Federal Polytechnic Nekede Owere leads Others follow only if they can. My advice to the incoming administration is for, for it to continue from where we stopped. Uh, governance is like a relay race. You finish your own race, you hand over to the next runner and he continues from where you stopped. The next runner does not go and start from the beginning. So my advice is that they will continue from where we start, just like we keyed into the vision of the founding fathers of the institution and stood on the shoulders of those who uh, were chief executive before us. We expect that the incoming administration will also key into uh, the vision that we have laid out and continue from where we stopped so that the institution can continue to make progress. I want to use this opportunity to thank everybody who has made it possible for me to function as the eighth substantive rector of the Federal Polytechnic Nekede. I want to thank the former president of Nigeria and the commander in chief of the armed forces, uh, General Muhammad Buhari, for appointing me. I want to thank uh, the former minister of education, Malam Adamo Adamo. I want to thank the Minister of State, I want to thank the Governor of Imo State, all the governors that uh, have been there since my appointment, especially the current Governor, the State Senator Hope Uzadunma. I want to thank uh, members of the Governing Council, the councils that I worked with. I worked under the 13th Governing Council of the institution, I also worked under the 14th Governing Council of the institution. I want to thank all of them for the support that I received. I want to thank members of management. I, I worked with quite a number of people during these five years. All of them, I want to thank them. I want to thank the staff. I want to thank students. I want to thank the deans, the directors, the heads of department, academic and non-teaching. I want to thank my family, my wife, my children, uh, many of them, my wife suffered a lot of uh, a lot of things within this time because a lot of times duty will call and I will not be available, I will not be around. So I want to thank her for her special consideration. I want to thank the children as well who had to deal with my absence from home quite a number of times. I want to thank everybody, the host community. I am very grateful for the assistance I received, for the support I got and for everything they have done to make uh, my administration a success. Thank you very much. Wow, this is indeed an indelible mark in the sense of time, written by engineer Dr. Michael Chidebere Arimangwa. Indeed, this is a clear proof that our rector has the interest of his alma mater, Federal Polytechnic Nekede Owere at heart, by giving us a second campus establishing the things that we generate revenue serve as job creating tools and even excursions to various schools and people that would love to establish such to you engineer dr michael tidebere arimangwa 
all we can tell you is bravo and god bless you in your future endeavors as you bow out honorably yeah. to you our viewers keep watching poly naked diary because we lead while others follow only if they can i remain your host chi awalamoke see you next time